How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Space Gladiators Escaping Tartarus. You can play this demo for free over on Itch right now. I'll have a link down below. From seeing like the screenshots and early gameplay footage and stuff, it kind of reminded me of like if Behemoth made Dead Cells with maybe a little bit of like Hollow Knight influence in there. It seemed like it had some cool stuff going for it. It looked like a lot of familiar things being put together in a very uh, fun, unique way. So I was excited to kind of mess around with it and see what it had to offer. Oh man, there's that guy who's like staked on the wall in the back there. Poor guy. I immediately tried talking to him, or attacking him. I guess I'm just supposed to talk to him. Oh, you're the new guy. We'll see if you have what it takes to make it out of here. I'm Jacob. I'll be your trainer. Try to get to the other side of those spikes. That's the easiest task anyone's ever held, to, like, suggested for me before. Easy peasy. You're not the same guy, are you? Because as impressed as you are with me, I'm even more impressed with you if you're the same guy from the, uh, the start of the dungeon there. Go to the next room to continue. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast through the tutorial. I'll catch up with you guys after. Ooh, I do like that you can pogo off enemies. Deflecting projectiles is pretty cool. There's a lot of different room types apparently that will be signed so you kind of know what to expect. I just gained the heart as a defensive ability so I can blast out my own heart and then kill it to recover health. And I can, I can do that repeatedly but I, I have to charge back up my three things from the top left corner there. Oh, you replenish it just by wailing on things. Straightforward. So I now have an offensive ability as well. This game has some pretty cool potential, I'd say. This guy looks kind of like uh, a chubby Phil egg tree or something. <laughs> I'm loving your energy, my dude. I'm bringing my whole family to see you fight in the arenas. Keep it up, champ. Kind of like Phil egg tree had a, a, a fat child <laughs> with, with uh, Zach from the Riddle School series. Oh, look at all these coins he's dishing out. Thanks! Ooh, I got, I got a perk point? Where do I spend that? You spend it when you die. Man, look at all those different stats. Damage, attack speed, energy damage, HP damage reflection, vampirism, armor damage reflection, metal scrapping, speed, jump, charisma, coupon, theft, and piggy bank. I have my offensive ability, my defensive ability, and armor and doll that I haven't quite found yet. The whole zero out of three, I'm guessing that's how you advance through the dungeon. Now am I officially in the whole level one, perhaps? Oh, look at this gross little zombie dude. Good thing he's he was easy enough to deal with. And here's kind of how the signposts work. Ooh, it's a damaged one. Well, the green enemies were like the, the easy ones. So I, I think I'll try to take that on first. <laughs> Crap. There we go. I, uh, I tried to get an effective double jump across from that. Ooh. Just, just full of more coinage. Oh, I can break apart these rocks and mushrooms and stuff, too, for, for extra goodies. Hmm, I'm gonna keep going up for now. Ooh, an unsigned one. So I guess it could be anything, or does that just mean, like, it's a combination? I think it means it's just supposed to act as, like, an unknown. The, the platforming here is smooth enough. It makes it pretty easy to navigate. I would very much like to collect that item, but I think I've missed my chance. Treasure room. I would like that very much, please. And a plant is passive. You gain one damage and two energy. So where does that fall? Oh, I, there's also just like a, a, a passive item slot. Okay, cool. It didn't add any, like, visual changes, crap, to, to my guy, but I, I feel like now that I really think about it, I, my character is such a blank slate that I wonder if uh, when we are dealing with, like, a full version, radioactive fruit for gaining HP, full version of this game, if it'll kind of have Isaac-style visual upgrades and things like that. I don't know if killing those butterflies is, uh, is worth anything, like... If they have a chance of dropping health and things. Ooh, it looks like there's like a big battle room off that way. So I do kind of want to 
Ooh, I have a dash that I forgot to utilize in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but yeah, I do kind of want to venture off that way and see maybe what that's like. I These are different things I could purchase. Choose your opponents. Oh. But I don't know what the needles are. I'll do this. The archer zombie, two rats, and the floating guy, but it has three little needles. It costs the most, so my guess is the rewards will be the most, maybe? That's a cool way to do a challenge room, is that you decide what you're going up against. Hmm, now I feel like a jerk for killing the butterflies. It didn't really seem to do anything. Jeez! Challenge complete. Reach my first arena. I was wondering how a one-armed dude was going to use a bow and arrow. The answer is he doesn't. <laughs> he just throws the arrow. Oh, the rats turn into a bunch of smaller rats. Pogo! That was a very poorly done Pogo. But, energy in Jackson passive, you gain two energy damage. And then, one max HP, and one max HP. That's cool. You know precisely what you're going to fight. You know precisely what your rewards are going to be. You can start stacking items together. This game is kind of damn awesome. I, I'm very happy with it so far. I can't go back that way, so I'm a little curious. I, I don't have, like, a map to investigate or anything. Uh, maybe you're always supposed to go forward. Maybe the game isn't about, like, backtracking. One damage and two energy damage. That's already what I have, right? But I would consider buying another one because it's quite good. Green energy ball. Fires an energy ball that deals 42 damage. You recover 1 HP if it hits. Uh, metal cannons. They different. Th this one's uh, white text, blue text, yellow text. That might have to do with like the rarity. Fires a cannonball that deals 10 damage. I haven't really been using my bow at all. I'll try. I'll try this guy out. I'll. I'll I'm glad that this is still available to me if I decide. Passive, a little friend that will give you some drugs. <laughs> I'm guessing that'll be more of these, yeah, which is great. Those are crazy useful. I have, oh, not enough gold to buy that again. But what is this all about? Okay. You can pay to reset uh, the gold armor. See, now I can't afford anything, but I would almost, almost be able to get this. Uh, I wonder if armor is exhaustible, like you don't actually recover it or anything like that. Interesting. Now, now it looks like I'm proceeding to a boss. Big brains! <laughs> this feels like a joke based on, like, uh, Chris Hemsworth's and Taika Waititi's little Thor short. Oh, I'm gonna get messed up here. Where he was talking about, like, all of his muscles are just a bunch of brains. New character unlocked. Patato! Starts with meatballs. Enemies take 50% 50 damage when they hit you. Destructibles are three times more likely to drop a react, re radioactive fruit. Eats armor for health and coins. That's a negative, so maybe he cannot have armor? Basic armor. Start, start with basic armor. That was a new perk. Oh, I guess I get to choose my perk. Enhanced fruits. All radioactive fruits become enhanced, restoring one health point and one energy when eaten. Uh, you get to see kind of what my basic progress was, what I unlocked. I died bravely. That's good. Uh, I discovered new enemies, new items, new perks. Cool. New run. I am... If I finish the hole, then I get yet another character. I guess you get Potato just for dying for the first time. See here, like, five health and three energy makes sense. I don't know what the ten and ten of the two different needles are. This guy's five and five. He starts with a ton of health. I'll try potato. I, pr I probably only get to choose one of these, right? I'll I'll try the armor. One point remaining. I don't have points. I don't really know how to get points. Maybe from beating the hole would earn you a point? Okay, you automatically get to start with these. But what's the one I do have? Meatballs. Throw a meatball that deals 16 damage. The meatball can stick to the ground dealing half damage. To enemies that walk on it. Hmm. Those are... That was showing me that you start with 5 damage and 5 energy damage. Uh, the other guy starts with 10 and 10. So he starts off quite a bit stronger, actually. Uh, I'll take the defensive ability, but I think I'll hang on to my meatballs. <laughs> oh, Reed, what do you have to say? Potato tip. 
run into enemies to kill them, then heal yourself by eating fruits. So if I just dash people or like literally just run into them, I I want to try to like dash into something simple like a butterfly or whatever to see if that gives me a good indication. Or this little maggot crawling around on the ground there. That doesn't seem to do anything. The sword kills them and running in doesn't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> running into things does kill them. That is a very funny way to play. But then that's fine. I can just I can gear up with with my fruits. Uh, I'm gonna go down this time. I mean, it's randomly generated anyway, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. Looks like this guy's strategy was also to dash around. So when we go toe to toe with that same strategy, I appear to be much more effective. No stopping, Mr. Patata. I'm I'm gonna dash into people all the time, seeing as my regular attack isn't actually that strong. Basic armor. Where does it track my armor? No, it said he eats armor. That's like his one of his whole things. So when you find it like that, it's funny that you can choose it as a perk. I don't know if it would count or allow you to hang on to that, you know? Seeing as that's... You would normally eat it. Rich doll is one of your dolls. So this is, would kind of be like a trinket, I guess. You gain five coins every time you kill an enemy. Seems like a good way to rack up a, a lot of uh, things. I just like seeing how the rich doll looks there on the screen. He looks very silly. Now I understand a bit more why you aren't getting those visual upgrades every single time you uh, find a, a different item upgrade. It's because not every character in this game is like the same body shape, so you would have to make unique compositions for every character, you know? I don't even think I have to dash in enemies. I think I just bump into them and it kills them. Playing as the patata is pretty fun. But I guess I guess I have to be careful. So far I've been it's been dishing out plenty of fruit and I haven't had to worry about it. But sooner or later I'm there's gonna be a bit of a gamble. Mm, I'll do another challenge room. Why not? They're decently expensive. Ooh, I can consult this to get a sense of uh, damage increase, health increase. Yeah, damage and health. This seems like this seems like the best bet. I figure if I get damage increases and I just bash into things like crazy. There we go. Perfectly done, my man. <laughs> There's still the one left to deal with. That was a lot of damage to incur. Ra relatively quickly. I forgot that I could be summoning my little my little f heart friend here. Should remember to use that. But I've been finding hearts so so often. I haven't had to worry about it too much. Ten percent faster. I haven't really been attacking very often. The jumpy jumpy the boogie. <laughs> Throw his jumpy who will bounce off walls and deal five damage to everything he collides with. I haven't been using meatballs. Yeah, hit close enemies with a spear, blow, that deals 18 damage, fire a cannonball that deals 10 damage. I will reset, because I want like a pa more passive things. Protect you from cannons and cannon bullets once per second. The meatball, which I already have. Vampirism. I'll, one vampirism would be good to have. I, I have zero right now, so I figure having at least a little bit would be good. Oh, I should probably not... I maybe should have worked. I did. I accidentally ran into him and kind of did damage to myself there. Oh, he's he's stunned. Yep. Oh, nice. When he attacks me like that, he ends up hurting himself a bunch. <laughs> this makes Patata very effective against this particular boss. I was trying to avoid him, but he kept just running into me. Good thing I had lots of health. The biceps. Two damage and one max health. Dope. I also want to summon this guy. I wanted to meatball meatball that boss. Because then you would run into them a bunch, and that would hurt him. I must... E each one of your health slots must have two parts, because there's the three full ones, and then one without a face? So that that must be three and a half total? But yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to meatball that guy. I thought that would be fun. Ooh. I don't know if I've actually... I have completed the first part of the hole. I guess I should show you guys what I'm talking about. In the top center there, the hole, one out of three. So that boss effectively counted as like damn it I, I want to jump and dash that's what I'm trying to pull off uh, that worked that worked quite well I 
guess I'm going to see what this is all about. It's its own challenge room. I, I super kind of lost track of what I was saying for a second there. I wanted to meet all the boss. I didn't have the energy to do so. This might be a little tricky. Oh god, they're like spawning enemies. It started yellow and then changed color. I'm, I'm just going to keep trying to bash this. Oh, there. It changes yellow when it's about to spawn something. Well... This is going to mess me up like crazy. I need to focus harder on killing these things. And I tried to run there. Luckily, when enemies spawn on top of me, it just ends up killing them. That works out incredibly well for me. I'm going to try and pogo around a little bit because I can't afford to spend my health on every single one of these. I, I should get... I should summon hearts more often. Oh, that was it. Damn it. There was too many enemies at once, so I kept... While I was trying to attack, I kept accidentally bumping into things. New perk, the metal shoulder armor. Uh, two armor and two damage. Ooh, and fruit delivery. A free radioactive fruit spawns next to each shop. Uh, but you don't always automatically get those. God, these, uh, these zombies chewing on my body or whatever was going on there sounded real gross. Compendium, you can look at all the different uh, items you have unlocked and everything. I'm into this game. And obviously there's so much room for more to be added. More characters, more items, more everything. Are they leveling up independently? They totally are. He has one point. I thought that was a level. That's his points. Uh, and Potato is closer to a second point than, than the Gladiator is. So I'm going to try the Gladiator again. And this time I'll, I'll give him the sweet pauldrons. The shoulder thing there. Oh, it costs two! Damn it! Alright, well in that case you can just have the basic armor then. That's tricky. That's tricky that some of them cost extra like that. You have to do pretty damn well in a run then. Oh, see? And that that's... It's taking up an armor slot so I can still actually pick up both of these and I'll be fine. They thought through a lot in this game. I think they have some really clever ideas uh, being displayed here that I'm super on board with. So there, that guy managed to just thump straight through my armor set. That wasn't very good. I mean, I guess it stopped me from taking that damage directly, but I would have liked to have not lost so much so quickly like that. Mm, I'll just keep fighting through monster rooms for now. Without a map, it's very, uh, it's like a weird deterrent to not backtrack. There's the cannons. I find, I, I hadn't seen cannons before when it said that, like, you can defend yourself from, from cannons once per second. Do you know what? You're blocked. You actually can't backtrack. The game does just propel you forward. In that case, a map totally doesn't matter. The game is much more just about your in-the-moment in decision from from one room to the next and I kind of dig that that's a bit of a, a unique little thing they got going on there that's I love that you summon him just to wail on him like that it's pretty damn funny oh I don't have the energy necessary to throw the energy balls around the way I intended to I accidentally just used a bit of a potato strategy there and ran straight at this thing didn't mean to it was not effective there we go I'm glad that the cannons stop once you defeat a level. Hmm. What is this guy's his deal? He might have been associated, like... Oh, there's also an angel I could go to? I think this guy was a weapons guy. Or an items guy. When it was showing me the examples of the different sign types, I have no idea where the angel fell. I'm gonna try this dude out. It is items. Can I take... One or both. Yellow fires an energy ball that deals 10 damage at a small area around the ball impact point. This one, it pierces enemies, deals less with each enemy it hits. The yellow seems a little better. And the cannon. I'll try the cannon. And I do only get to choose one or the other. That's totally part of it. Am I blocked from going this direction? I wonder why some of them are blocked. Oh, maybe it's just like... You've gone through enough, maybe you always advance through the same number of rooms before you have to do a challenge room leading you into that, like, boss fight. That might always play out the same, I'm not entirely sure. What is the yellow stim pack? Damage, energy, 
green would be your HP, and so it, it would be an armor boost? But armor is like temporary. Once it's destroyed, it's gone, right? I'm gonna try it. We can figure it out together. I'm just gonna cannonball that guy immediately. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept the, uh... Oh, don't hit the butterflies. Maybe I should have kept the energy ball with the piercing damage. Because if everything's just going to come come at me on the ground like that. I'm not very good at pogoing. When I try to do it, I keep timing it really poorly and actually taking damage. Which is not good. Damage, damage, energy damage, and armor. And I'm going to make sure I grab this guy before I leave this room. Pummeling him does not raise my energy. Pummeling the butterfly does not raise my energy. It would seem like those would be fun ways to gain a little extra. One armor and enemies take 20 damage when they hit your armor. Mm. Uh, just a, a, a decent armor boost for, for a cheap cost. You can jump 20% higher and you gain 3 energy damage. You gain 3 armor, 10 attack speed, 10 movement speed, and you can jump higher and it comes with armor. This just adds so much. I think I'm, I'm going to go for it. And then I'm going to take, like, the... Oh, there's a max. No, there's not. That's not what's going on at all. It's just that you can only hold one of those armors at a time. So that was a bit of a waste buying the second one, actually, which is too bad. I guess it's always big brains. That might change with the final game. Again, it is, it is like, a, a demo version of things. At least I'm learning his attack patterns a little bit. Ooh, nice. Stunned. Ooh, <laughs> you sucker. Flawless victory here is what I'm going for. Oh, and I stunned again. Damn it! <laughs> it's a it's a it's a nice straightforward boss. It took me whatever two three times to really start to get the swing of it. Still not perfect, but like I'd, I'd say that's effective boss design. That once you've gone through it a handful of times, you start to learn a bit better. Brain passive. You gained one energy and three energy damage. That was also the fiftieth enemy I had killed. Which is kind of funny that that worked out so precisely with, with the boss destroyed there. That must carry on between both uh, this guy and... Like, those challenges must be between Patata and the Gladiator. It's not, not specific to one character the way that I think that the perk bonus points are. Hmm, I'll go the easy route. <laughs> the supposedly easier route. I'm still learning things a bit, so I might uh, might screw them up still. I don't know if I can particularly notice the uh, increase in speed and movement and attack speed across uh, just that little bit there. Hey, thanks for discovering that extra rock to blow up that I, that I had missed. But yeah, it might be a subtle enough increase that I specifically haven't really noticed. Damn it! I hate landing on them like that. I gotta get better at more precise landings and pogo wings. Because I'm I'm used to like, I think my brain's trying to work with Super Smash Bros because I love playing as Link, that when you do your pogo, your sword stays out. Here it's just a quick slash, right? I don't often go for the trap rooms. Let's go for the heavy trap room and see what that's all about. Mess around with that a little bit. Hmm. I'll try this little side nothing room, supposed nothing room. Can I can I get around that and wall jump up? Uh, yes, but there's nothing to be found there. I gotta be careful about when I time these so I don't get cannoned. Yep. Oh crap, I thought that I could, like, uh, do just fall and double jump if needed to, to bridge the distance there. Not quite how it works. This double trap room might have been a bit much to take on. Oh, that was a good dash. Nope, I'm doing the monster room this time. Not the difficult monster room, though. I kind of need to save up a little bit. Oh, nice. I, I did need that. Let's get back here. I'm trying to be less uh, aggressive, a little more cautious. Because things have not been working out great. Oh, and I'm already advanced to the next challenge room. It makes you fight so many things. All right, well, I want to do the one that uh, where I gain health at the end. What if I don't have enough gold for that? Oh, do you know what? I don't think it's gold cost. It's a gold reward. Might be what's going on there. Pogo. 
now is the time. Oh, I want. I still have not learned. New perk, armor injection, start with extra two armor, start with two energy damage. The main menu again. Well, the hole is kind of a ways, a ways away from me being able to complete it. Yet, that's a total confirmation that their points are tracked differently. It was kind of subtly different before. That's quite a major gap between the two this time. I dig it, guys. Space Gladiators Escaping Tartarus. Highly recommend you give it a try. Uh, see, try and complete the hole for yourself, maybe. I am definitely going to be keeping a close eye on where this one goes in the future, future development and everything like that, because this is like a very precise combo of a lot of different things I like about a lot of different games. And so, yeah, I'm totally stoked to see more of this. There's just so much content in just like this simple, small little uh, demo version of the game here that like, it would be so amazing when it's finally done. I'm very much looking forward to it. It might have to remain like a private game for me, like a fun thing that I play in my own time. Cause like, I would never be able to do enough editing and uploading to keep up with the amount that I want to play this game. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys again soon.